Hi everybody and welcome back to Scrap Edit Creations. I'm Diane and today we're going to be opening my box I just received from Notions with my 49th and Market Splurge. Well let's get open in that box. Got a box from Notions, so let's open it up and see what fun we have in here. It should mainly be um, 49th and Market. There's a bunch of stuff that we ordered, and then we needed some more of this stuff. And then, of course, I needed more travel stuff because my sister's album is quite large. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, another box. And some bits. Pull these out. Ooh, this one is the defining words. I got this just because I thought it would be kind of cool and it was on clearance. This one is the Willow and Femra stackers. I love this color and I use it quite a bit and I like that it comes with this, um, I'm going to call it craft, but it's kind of a mink color. Pull those. Oh, the charcoal ones. These are nice, very nice. Okay, and then uh, this Christmas Spectacular from 2023. This stuff was on clearance, so I got it because I bought the did I buy the album? I bought the page kit and the uh, cluster kits, and I wanted to get the rest of the stuff. This is a card kit, and I thought it would be kind of fun to use the papers for something, and then, of course, the rub-ons and bits. We've got Curator Essential and Remnants, because I am absolutely loving these cut bits. Uh, more defining... Oh, and here's the textbook blends. I thought those were cool with the little flowers and bits. So I've got those. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, Crafty Garden. I started buying the Crafty Garden line because I thought it was really cool. So I got a few more bits for that. The ephemera and what is this? Stacked frames. I am loving the stacked frames. Okay. And then we've got Vintage Artistry Moonlight Garden. And these are the spiral notebooks. And the reason I love these is because I can tear them and use those bits. Okay, I'm going to pause this real quick and pull this box out. Okay, so the box inside the box. Let's see what we got here. More fun bits. I was so impressed with the album kit. So I got this one, which is the Moonlit Garden, and I really liked the papers and bits that they had in it. And then I got the Christmas one. And this one, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm loving the bits. That's pretty much why I'm buying these. Um, the album cover's kind of cool, uh, but this one was on clearance through Notion, so that was fantastic. Let's see here. What do we got? Lots of stuff. So we have the eucalyptus envelope bits and the eucalyptus frames. I wanted to get some neutral colors so I could use them with other bits. Charcoal frames, toast envelope bits, and toast frames. Mm, the toast frames, I'm not sure I love. We'll have to ink those and see if they work, but I do like these envelope bits. Oh, this little tiny envelope is so cute. We'll have to open up some of these packs and look at what's in there. Uh, more um, chipboard frames from the Christmas Spectacular. Again, these that line is on clearance. And then I got the Vintage Artistry Essential Hardware. So it looks like little screws and bits and little metal things without the bulk. So I'm excited to try these because I think they'll be, you know, a game changer with less bulk. Okay, teal ephemera. This is the stack I already have, and I wanted a few more. And then, let's see here, eucalyptus rub-on transfer set. I only got one of these because this is 
nice that you can only you can buy them singly um, most things are twos or threes so this was kind of nice i could buy this this way i'm excited about these butterflies and these bits and i love this color this eucalyptus is beautiful okay sage collage stacks and vintage are oh the file frame set oh those are nice those are really nice and it's got that stitching on it very cool uh, let's see here what is this uh, this is laser cut elements for the Christmas um, 2023. So again, these were on clearance. And then we had some bits that we didn't order the first time around with our evergreen. So I ordered this piece because I liked it for some titles or some cards if I wanted to use it. And it had these snowflakes and bits. And then both Nancy and I ordered this set. It's got joy and santa and just titles and and bits that's all i can say is bits it's got lots of bits let me close that before i hurt myself i bought two sets of this academia uh pretty much didn't buy the paper it's not a paper line that i think would work with everything i have but these bits right here would work with random things the leaves are interesting I, I probably wouldn't use those um oh here's a better look at it just things that you could put on school layouts i thought was cool uh oh another set of the everywhere moonlight garden where uh wherever and this one's nancy's wherever she, her kids did some traveling. She needed some more. Oh, I really was interested in this one for this ruler. Isn't that cool? So these are, uh, let's see, full of six by 12 sheet, one six by 12 sheet of die cut strips. So that's cool. These are die cut strips. We'll have to open that up and take a look. And then we had the greenery part of the 2023 bits. Again, clearance. Yay. Okay. So then we got the whenever collection pack, whenever page kit. I wanted another one of these. I really love this page kit. And I want to say Nancy got one too. Yeah. Nancy wanted one. These I can buy individually. So that was nice. Moonlight garden page kit. Had to have that one. And then we got some paper for the evergreen, which is this year's collection. So we've got paper for that. And then I wanted the Everywhere Ultimate Page Kit. And oops, this is the Whenever Collection Bundle. I needed some more paper and some frames and stuff because I'm going through those quickly. And then Nancy wanted the bobbles, so or wishing bubbles and bobbles. So I'm going to give those to her. Move this box. And let's look at some of these bits. Okay. Let's see here. This whenever page kit is fantastic. And the the paper is wonderful. But I really want to get my little mitts on. The academia stuff. And then we will look at a couple other things. So these are blendable rub on transfers i will have to make sure i get these into a protective area asap it's nice sometimes because when i have to buy three i have three kids that went to school so that works out for me on this one it doesn't always work out um you know sometimes i just need one so let's look at these oh these are nice i like the feel of them and they're very fall on some of them so that's cool this is just something i think i would use elsewhere not with the school stuff um congrats you did it i love that number line i also like oh yeah it does so it goes 10 11 12 13 oh and then it jumps up to 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 and kind of 28 that's cool and little number lines oh do you remember the number lines in school? Those were so cool and helpful. Little ruler. What an awesome achievement. Let your dreams be your wings. Oh, and these little number grids. Those are cool. These are really nice. 
and I'm very impressed with 49th and Market and how well they um, they work. In the past, when I bought uh, rub-ons, they did not work as well. And 49th and Markets are so smooth and work so nicely. Oops, let's see. Oh, look at the back side. Oh, nice. <gasps> oh, look at the paper. I like that. It's kind of shiny, but I could still use it somewhere. Okay, so we've got a bunch of numbers. And we've got this ruler section. So these are, what are they called again? Die cut strips, washi sheets. Okay, so I could cut these and use these. Oh, nice. Oh, I love the ruler. Yeah, you just cut them. And the numbers. Yeah, this is fantastic for school. I'm really excited about that. And I think it will work with, what is it, Smarty Pants? I'll have to, let me actually grab out Smarty Pants before I put this back away. Let's grab out Smarty Pants. Okay, grab the Smarty Pants. I'm going to pull out the sticker sheet, which it has a ruler as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of this paper in this pack. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like the colors with it. The black does well the green is probably the thing that's the most off but it doesn't look horrible next to it love that these are generic so those would of course work and let's grab these bits these are a little more cartoony where these are a little more realistic so as the girls get older in their grades these will work good as a complement to it yeah, I think those will work fantastic. Very excited about that. It's always nice when you can find bits that will go with other bits you already have, just to kind of add some more oomph to them. Okay, so let's see here. These are the collection packs. I think I've already, well, you know what? I don't think I've done an unbox, unboxing for Notions orders. So let's see here. What is, oh, those are nice, aren't they? Very nice. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to set that aside real quick and let's go back to these. I'm going to set these. This collection is the, um, gosh, I cannot remember the collection bundle. Sorry. It has the wishing bubbles and bobbles. It has die cuts, it has chipboard, and then it has this whole paper collection. So I needed more of the paper and I, um, Nancy needed the bubble, the bubbles and bobbles. Um, she, I think she even needs another train, but this is perfect for us because we can share these bits. So that's always a nice little bonus too when you've got somebody who wants to share them with you i didn't buy this the original time i bought everything else at the scrapbook store and so i wanted this because it had some bits on it that i thought might really work well with my sister's album i love this paper oh man these are so cool and look how big that is that is going to take up almost the whole page i might cut this mm, cut this so you can see it i tend to not use these bits they go to Lisa usually, unless Nancy needs them. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, these are really nice. I, I love this paper on the background. Okay, well, that's cool. I've already showed you these because I just did one, and I've got now more pieces for them, which is fantastic. I wanted the Moonlight Garden because I think the paper is just utterly gorgeous. It's beautiful. Oh, and these are nice. They're not too thick. Okay. And then I wanted another set of this. So these are the ones that I had already assembled and then I had to take apart. I'm working with this one right now. Um, but I wanted another one because I can use the bits differently and they'll look just as good. Um, again, I don't use these bits usually. 
Okay, set some stuff aside because my area is pretty big. So the whenever page kit, I've already done that one, but I wanted another one and then Nancy did as well. It does come with, oh, these are the cartoony arrows. It comes with the chipboard. It comes with all of the papers to make these four layouts and some extra bits. So these are totally worth your time. The Moonlight Garden. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. Aren't those so pretty? Oh, stuff's beautiful. Oh, that's kind of nice. It's really thick, but it's nice. Yeah, these are a little cartoony. Um, I think I like them better when they're die cuts rather than chipboard. I think once it goes onto the chip, it gets a little cartoony for me. But that's okay. We'll, you know, see if we can use them. If we can't, I have people that can. Uh, so the Evergreen Collection, we had bought... The page kit, the cluster kit, all, all a lot of the bits. And we hadn't gotten the sentiment rub-ons. I just got those. And then this essential rub-ons. Let's put that together. And then Nancy mentioned she wanted this paper. And I am so glad she mentioned it because I grabbed one too. And I really like the textures. Because it's flat, but it's got texture to it. So that's nice. Let's flip that over. Oh yeah, that paper is nice. Okay, so there's for the Christmas one. Let's set, what's this one? Okay, there's another whenever cluster kit. Okay, now let's actually grab these album kits. I've been very impressed with the, um, the album kits. And I'm glad, oh, isn't that box pretty? I guess if I put something over the top, you wouldn't know and could use it as a Christmas gift. So the album kits come with all of these bits to make these layouts, which is great. The best part, though, is you can use them for other things if you want to. Oh, everything is inside this little album. The album's nice. I like the cover. Don't really love the inside. But, you know, can't win everything. Oh, these are cool. Little musical sheets very fun and then oh these are nice let's see here i'm gonna open this up because i wanted to take a look at this because while they are on clearance i might need to get a few more for christmas gifts oh these are really nice yeah i like the details on them and they don't look that cartoony in comparison to the die cut stuff that we usually see not a bad Santa. I'm very picky on my Santas. I could use this one, so that's good. Nice. Oh, so pretty. I love the frame. Oh, this frame. Oh, there's a bunch of them. They're connected. I really do seem to like that when I've been using them. Nice little corners and little areas for bits or journaling, whatever you want. These all just punch out, so that's nice. And they're very thin. Oh, that's a nice tree. Very nice tree. Okay, so this is the bit that you fold to make the album. And then here are the base pages. And it looks like, oh, we even get some paper. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, this is a really cool kit. Very happy with that one see here I'll put this back in the box i'm not going to worry about the bag since i will be using this and there is that oh that was nice how quick and easy that went right back into that box okay let's look at the moonlight garden one this is another one that oh isn't that beautiful that's beautiful okay. oh that box is gorgeous Okay, let's see here. So here's the layout. And it's nice because they really do send you all the bits plus extras. And then it's just in stages. You gather the bits and you layer them and you go across. Now my one complaint is they do use this whole section and they cover it up on almost every layout. So that's one of the areas that I differ. I want to see some more of that paper. All these bits are pretty. Let's see here. Here's the base page. That's a nice base page. 
there other oh there's other papers in this i'm trying to think i think i got i got something with moonlit garden with all of that money and i don't know if it was if i gotten it for me or i'd gotten it to sell on ebay oh look at that paper i might have to pull it out for me because i am loving this let's look at this one The inside of this album is really pretty too. Okay, so here's the album piece. Set that there. And then we've got, oh, beautiful. Look at the colors on this. It's got that sage color and it's got some wire looking. And these wires are really pretty in detail and so flat, which is so amazing. Oh, pretty, these are beautiful. Even the little birdies are cute. Nice frames. It's got a nice detail on them. Very rustic, which is cool. Oh, these are beautiful. I might have to put this album together as it shows. Um, I don't know if I'll use the book, though. I'm, I like my stuff kind of covered up a little more if I can do it. But I think this would make a gorgeous album, especially like if I needed a gift. I mean, it would be hard to get rid of this to somebody. And I say get rid of it as, you know, give it as a gift to somebody who would not keep it myself. Oh, my gosh. But it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I do love 49th and Market. They they are amazing they really have cornered the market on beauty oh my gosh i love how quickly and easily that went back into this box <laughs> both of those did a fantastic job okay let's look at these christmas ones what is this one? yeah this is for that one um anything else i got that card kit i think that is everything so the card kit let's open this one up because i'm very curious as to what all comes in this one i'm going to try to leave the base background piece in there so i can put this away so we've got oh nice it comes with um all of these Merry Christmases and season greetings. Fa -la, 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 la I love that. That could work on an album. Peace and joy to you this holiday. That's nice. I like that it's not all the same, that there's some different ones there. I think these are for the back of the envelopes. Let me see here. Because it's eight cards, four designs, two of each, two rub-on sheets, and eight sticker seals. Yes, so these are the, for the back of the envelope and then these are the card bases so there is four of each of them right actually there is four designs two of each okay so there's the poinsettia there's a door there's i love this one oh this is nice that looks kind of like a tree okay cool this is still my favorite and then the envelopes oh you have to put the envelopes together that's kind of nice because look at the paper. Oh man, I could use these definitely for a layout. I was kind of concerned, but since the lay the envelopes aren't put together, you can, oh wow. They have really, really outdone themselves on this one. It's beautiful paper. Okay, I will set that back in there in a little bit because you don't need to see me fumbling with it. Okay, so the general laser cut elements. So it's got these um, bows to make presents. It's got tags, which I love the little tickets and tags. It's got little pine cones, that's cool. And then another one of those trees. These are very bright. I think the paper supports it though. This is a nice Santa. I like him a little better than him. Nice, okay. So I had to order three of those. And then this is the greenery laser cut. Oh, the greenery. Yes, I 
thought that was beautiful. And I'm wondering if I could use some of this maybe for some cards too. I need to make a ton of Christmas cards. Okay, this is the one I love, I love, 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 love these. I love how these give you so much more. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's a little too shiny to use, but that's okay. We have all these. Oh, wow. These are great. The colors are, oh, I love that color. Nice. I wonder if these would even work with some of my Christmas paper I have left over from close to my heart. It's beautiful. These are amazing. Okay, I am extremely excited to work with all this, these bits. Okay, I want to open up. So the red I definitely would use mainly for Christmas. Oh, they're adhesive too. Nice. But like these black ones, I could use those with anything. Those are so cool and they are all adhesivized. Adhesive fact. I didn't even read that that was a thing on these. These are amazing. Okay. How much fun are we going to have? Okay. The Moonlit Garden. Let's look at that one. I know. I'm sorry. I am taking you through my wild uh, purchase extravaganza today. But, oh my goodness, aren't you enjoying it? Because I sure am. These are so cool. Beautiful paper. I love the colors. This, um, it's kind of like a sage with a mix of, gosh, a mix of mist almost. Because here's mist, here's kind of the sage, but it's a little grayer. And then we've kind of got the, maybe a mink or a linen with a little hint of a craft. I know. <laughs> Let's just mix these. Oh, and then this, this is a light kind of a linen color too. And oh, look at the flowers. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. Oh, this is a nice, nice. Um, it, the others have all been this way. This one is this way. That's cool. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. I'm going to actually zoom in. I think I know I had it on the other. There we go. You can see a little better. And this um, mat is a pretty good backdrop for this. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, excited about those. The stacked frames. I don't think I need to open that. I mean, basically, you get this and you can stack them or you can just use them as is. And then they have little backing papers. I tend to use them as is, you know, like as is and not stack them. But that's just so I can get more out of them. Uh, this is the die cut shapes. The nice thing, and actually I'm going to open this one, on the Crafty Garden is they have these envelopes. I'm just, I'm going to pull a couple things out. I don't think I'm going to pull all of it out because it's going to make a mess. These are solid. And so what you could do is just, you know, lay them on your layout and kind of cover them up a little bit. But you could also slit along here and stick something in, which would be really cute. And then you would have a little bit of that background paper. So those are so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. These are awesome. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at the flower. Eh, that one's not as pretty, but it's okay. This is a very bright yellow. I am not a big yellow person, um, but hopefully we can tame it down with some ink. Okay, let's put those back in because these will multiply on my desk like little rabbits. Okay, let's see here. I want to look at these ribbons again real quick. Oh, these are beautiful. So the textbook blends, I think, are my favorite. And there's two six by eight sheets, one each of two designs. Oh, those are so pretty. Okay, excited there. And then this also has one each of two designs. Yeah, this is okay. I mean, I think I would use them on random things too. So yeah, that's good. And they're, they're very simple. I like that it's got memory, memory, memory. So you've got these different fonts, which is good to... For different situations but these uh, oh, memory wonder this looks like it's trying to say life delight time enjoy capture and enough oh, 
perfect. Those are amazing. So I've got three sets of those. You will see those fre in frequent videos, right? Okay, the ephemera stackers. This is all the bits that you get in them. You've got like library cards, um, receipts, just random bits. And that is so nice. When you just need that little something to go behind a picture to kind of make it stand out a little more. So that's where I love these ephemera stackers because you do get so many bits. Now this has a green in it. I, I like the willow color. I really do. But on the back, this darker green. Oh, no, the darker green's the one I've been using. Okay. It looks so limey on here, and that would be harder for me to use on those kind of layouts. Just a few more packages to go through. I am extremely excited for this one. Let us open it up. I know Nancy wanted one of these packs, but if I like it, she might not get it, or I might have to order more. Oh, I love this little ledger piece. Oh, that's nice. It's an envelope, but it's got the lines on it and a little postmark. That's cool. Back of it. This is really cool, this envelope. Oh, these are neat. Oh, look at the little one. They're tiny. And the weight quality is nice on these, too. It's a little heavier than probably an 80-pound paper. Maybe it's more like I wouldn't say it's quite a hundred, but it could be, it could easily be a hundred pound paper. It's a smoother paper. Um, so that's nice too. Now these are really awesome. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Oh, I, I thought this was one. It's not, it's this whole piece. Wow. Another envelope. This one just is the envelope. It doesn't have the lines. These guys. Oh, here's one that's got a little one. Another envelope. Another envelope. Very nice. Another envelope. Another envelope. Very, very fun. Oh, I like this. It's got the envelope here and then other bits. Okay. This is a really cool set. I could see using this for a lot of things. Actually, you know what? This would look really pretty with... Um, Oh, shoot. The name of the paper just ran out of my head. Um, let's see. In Full Bloom was one of them I was thinking, but there was another one after it, I believe, if I remember correctly, that these would look really nice with, too. Huh. The other one is the one I was thinking, and I can't remember it. Okay, so I do like this. This will work really nice. Again, I'm not going to open this big package. And then these frames, um, they're charcoal, so they're nice. I'm just going to take one out and take a look at it. They are paper rather than like a chip, so they're nice and thin. And they've got some stitching on them, so that's cool. Now this would definitely go with In Full Bloom, and I still have a ton of that one. What is that other paper? Oh, goodness. Okay, I want to look closer at these. So these all have Phillips. This is a flat. Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. And then this has the little, like, tag you would put on the, the paper or something or frame. And then we've got these, uh, what are these? These would be these little things that slide. I can't think of the name of them. It doesn't say on here either. And then some hinges. These are nice. Loving those. Okay, the eucalyptus set. This was one I did him and haw on because of the fact that it is the green color. And whereas I will use them, I'm sure, how often will I have that green? It's kind of a sagey color. So maybe enough that this is worth it, I hope. These are really cool. And there's a, quite a bit in here. 18 frames. It's not bad. Okay, this one I do want to open. This is the eucalyptus envelope bits i want to see what's in here okay. they are actual little envelopes oh gosh these are so cute wow those are adorable little envelopes okay and then little bits well these these don't fit into the envelopes so that's good to know 
Oh, that's nice. So we've got a couple that are with a darker and then we've got a lighter. I don't know if that's supposed to be light. These are two different colors, two different hues of the same color. Oh, the story. That's nice. And there's a lighter one. Notes. Name and location and date. And then little square ones. I like this details. The other ones that I have for, I think it says notes or something. Maybe it doesn't. I don't remember what it says. Uh, for the vacation ones the story of this day and the very best oh this is a frame that's nice okay loving this i'm surprised with it be calling envelope with it being called envelope bits my goodness that was a tongue twister in my brain um that there was only a few envelopes they were adorable though so yeah and I kind of want more of the papers anyway, so I'm okay with it. I'm just a little surprised because, yeah, six envelopes, but then all of these papers. Okay, toast frames. We'll definitely have to play with those a little bit and see if we can get them a little nicer. This brown is, what would you say this brown is? It's kind of a ruddier toffee color maybe yeah it's just a little little bit ruddier this color right here this color palette for this one i'm just going to pull out the actual envelopes because the other bits we've already seen they're just the, the darker color um yeah these colors would probably be better but they are not the same color tone that's interesting okay I definitely like those little envelopes. They are adorable. So totally good find there. I've already opened one of, well, I haven't opened it on camera, but I've already shown them inside my book. But this is the little extra bits if you want to see the backing. Okay, Vintage Artistry 4 by 6 file frame set. Let's look and see what this one is. So these are layered. It says stack them, separate them, map them, use them horizontally, use them vertically. The choices are yours. When somebody says the choice is mine, I always think, well, of course it is. But at the same time, there's some people out there, my friend Nancy, dear Nancy, who if she sees something, she has to do it the exact same way. And I try to break that in her. <laughs> <laughs> because things need to be different. I'm not loving these. Um, they are a very shiny. Let's see here. Let me set these over here. And I will try to show you a little better. They are shiny. And I am not really big on the shiny. I like it more when it's kind of a matte color. These are cool though. Looks like this. Yeah, you know, this has a boo-boo on it. Did it stick to one of them? I'm not seeing the one it stuck to. Well, I would be covering it up anyway. I'm sure I will use these, but this is not one I would buy again. So that's the Vintage Artistry Essentials 4x6 file frame set. It's, um, like I said, really shiny paper. I'm not really into the shiny, shiny paper. I hope these, this is, looks more matte. Well, cross our fingers so this is sage college collage oh my goodness stacks mix and match die cut pieces yeah this is more of the paper i like it's not shiny it's got a nice color to it definitely has some really nice bits little frames more of these what's nice about this is you can cut them of course from both ends or you can use it this way and cut it here uh, we got some tabs. Oh, some little banner flaggy type pieces, labels. Look at those little banners. Oh, those are cute. Some tickets. That's cute. I like the color. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, oh it's just paper. It's very, very faint. 
You can barely see it. And it looks like it's um, folded, but it's not. Little ledger bits. These are nice. This looks like an envelope. It's not, but it looks like it could be something envelope-y. And more tabs. Okay, and then some tickets. Not loving this color. This is a little different of a color, but maybe it'll work on something. And usually when you don't like something, ink sometimes helps. So we'll maybe add some ink to it. So this is the Sage Collage. Okay, I think I've already shown the Charcoal Ephemera Stackers. Very excited about that. Um, the nice part about these ephemera stackers is that each set in its color is the same bits, just a different color. Okay, and then we've got these Color Swatch Eucalyptus Rub-Ons. They had a few different rub-on sets, and I wasn't sure if I should get them or not. Like I've mentioned before, their rub-ons are very high quality and nice. I just wasn't sure if I would use them. I definitely don't use this little bit. I use either my um, Lawn Fawn Teflon um, bone folder or then I have my Stampin' Up! one. Those work good. Actually, I used this little metal piece the other day because I needed it just in like this really weird area and that worked great too. Oh, these butterflies are beautiful. Oh, aren't those pretty? So pretty. The leaves are pretty. This is all so pretty. I love this color. I love a good sage. And eucalyptus is basically like a sage, maybe even like a light rosemary. But both those colors are amazing. Oh, those are nice. Oh, and some little word bits with frames. Okay. Liking this. Loving these sets. I'm going to pull out my Christmas bits that I got um, between this order and the last order and share those with you so that you can see this uh, Christmas 23 set that I got. So hold on real quick. Okay, so this is the pile of stuff that I got today. And these are the ones I got the last order. And so this is the um, cluster kit where it makes those little bits. My least favorite is this um, doorway, but I do love the poinsettia. So we've got all these little bits in here for those. And I got three packs of those, three children, three packs. And then I got three packs of the ultimate page kit as well. Um, and it's in a plasticky thing, so I'm trying to make it easy to see. Uh, what I like about these really, really well is that you can use the back side of the paper and it has exactly what it is, or you can use the front side and build it yourself, depending on how much weight you want on, you know, like built up on those pages. So I do have three of them and I probably won't use these bits. I tend not to, but all these other bits, aren't they amazing? Oh. And you get, um, let's see, four sheets of exclusive. 12 by 12 pattern papers, five sheets of 12 by 12 laser cut elements, 12 by 12 sheet of thin adhesive back chipboard shapes, 33 assorted buttons, five metal mini metal clips, and 14 inches, um, 14 inch piece of a green elastic cord and two millimeter of red plastic cord and one bow. There's a bow in here. Huh, let's open it and see. Actually, I will show you what's in here. Instead of being stingy and not showing you, I do not see a bow. And there's not very much of the green, so... Oh, there's the bow. Okay, there's just got the elastic cord tied into a bow. No biggie. Okay, so then we've got all these frames. This frame's very intriguing, but I think it'll be hard to use. These stars are amazing, little ledger bits. And then, so this is the chipboard, and those are adhesive. And then these are the die cuts. A little more delicate. Aren't those beautiful, though? Oh, look at the red envelope. That's pretty. I love the music note papers. Those are really cool. Okay, oops. And they do come out very easy, as you can see. <laughs> which is nice. Okay, so here are the four 
sheets. So this is the side that you would decorate and add these bits to. Or you can just add a picture here. Um, you could cut maybe around this and put the picture, you know, like from the underside if you wanted to, and you wanted to just have this really flat. So that's, these are good options. That's what I like about it. It's good options. I love this frame. That's beautiful. Actually, I like this side a lot better. And I like this side better too. Um, but they're amazing. Like this one, three spots for pictures, which is great, or add some more in, or start with this and add your own bits. Oh, isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. And that's what this one looks like if you put all their bits on it. Wow. And then here is a sample of what each of them looks like. So interesting. This is not how they always come. Let me stick these back in to their envelope and I will grab out. Oops, let me pause it real quick. Okay, it took a bit. So it must just be recently that they changed it because I know when I was dealing with one of the travel ones this is how it came on the back so i was really surprised to see the four squares with the different ones because they showed gather pieces first layer second layer and the final layer um, and so this is how it is with the crafty garden kit and it was like that with funny part is i had these right next to me it was with, like that with the wherever page kit let's see if this one I like the Velcro ones. I wish they all had the Velcro. So that's interesting, which I love the fact that they give you extra bits here. So they don't have, just says four layouts shown for inspiration. It doesn't have the instructions in here like that. It does have these beautiful papers. So here would be what it could look like. And here is where it starts. Very nice. And what's also a benefit to me on these is because I do the smaller layout, especially when I'm doing a gift album, I nine times out of 10 do a smaller album. I really only do 12 by 12 layouts for Nancy. Um, this is harder to cut down, but this side, I can cut this down and then build onto it and create something either similar or, you know, go rogue because I tend to do that anyway. But yeah, this is extremely amazing, all these kits. I do like the fact that the new ones have that set of instructions. Um, so that is a new thing with them. Crafty Garden has it, everywhere has it. Let me grab the summer kit. Okay, I pulled out all my summer bits. So I've got summer porch. Oops, I was shooting rubber bands across my desk. I've got the ephemera bits. Very nice. The colors are, are gorgeous on these too. Look at the lighthouse and the sailboat. Um, this one's the mini bits. I like the boats and stuff. And then we've got the chip words, got the summer porch by land laser cuts and summer porch by sea laser cuts. So both versions are really cool. Oh, that netting is amazing. Wow. Okay. And then I've got the paper and I got the page kit. I did not get the cluster kit on this one. I might have to do that. This came in my last order, the one prior to this one. So let's see what they did here. That summer word, that's really cool. I'm just trying to get the top one. Yeah, they did it on there too, which is nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So just know with the newer ones, they're going to have a little more description and information on what you need to do on these layouts. It's really, really cool. Really cool. These are great starting points, especially if you're just wanting to learn a little more about how to layer things and make them look similar to this. This is a great way of doing it. Um, and they're not that expensive. I think, I mean, I'm not paying retail right now for everything, but when I do pay retail, um, the crafty garden one, where did I set that? 
I was going to say that one is one that I did buy retail, didn't I? Nope. That is not one I bought retail. Which one did I buy retail? Um, whenever. Let me take a look. Okay. Yeah, I have a little too many of these right now, right? I need to just start putting them together. So this is the Vintage Artistry Tranquility set. And I did pay retail for this one. Let's see. It was um, $35.75 for this one for four layouts which technically is quite a bit, but I think you can make more out of it. And this one on the back sheet has cutouts. So that's awesome. Yeah, those are beautiful. Okay. So you're looking at about 35 bucks for the four layouts. Um, I know they have them on eBay. I know they have them like on Amazon. They have them at scrapbook.com, probably in your local scrapbooking store. And if you want to contact me and I'll see if I can get some for you too. Okay. Well, have an amazing rest of your day. I am so thankful that you were able to come and see all my fun new products. And I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like, and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.